What types of sources are in the library that help you find information on a topic you know little about? Did you think of books? Most people do. We also have magazines, newspapers, videos, audiobooks, and more sources of information available in the library. In order to support college level research, you can access credible academic content through our subscription databases. In the first part of your research project for ENC 1101 online, your task is to choose a controversial topic from the Opposing Viewpoints database and to develop a thesis statement. You can access the databases through the library's website. You just have to know how to get there and how to log in to search. I will show you how to get to the library's databases and log in now. If you are able, please open a new window and keep this video up in a separate window. This way you can follow along as I give you instructions to locate and log into the databases. Control plus N will open a new window. Then if you click on Restore Down on each window, you can place them side by side. Pause the video and set up your computer now. Starting out at the IRSC homepage, you can get to the library by clicking Quick Links and then Libraries in the top right corner. Next click on Databases by Subject. You can then either select Current Events or the O to get to Opposing Viewpoints. Click on one of these and scroll down to see the Opposing Viewpoints database. Log in using the same Rivermail email and password that you use for My Pioneer Portal. If you experience any errors when logging in, please email us at library at irsc.edu. There is also a troubleshooting page on the main database website for you. This database makes it easy to pick a topic as it lists some current and controversial topics under Browse Issues. Click on Browse Issues to see a list of topics. The topics listed here are very broad and your job in this first assignment is to use the database to help you narrow down your choice to a viewpoint or one side of an argument that is tied to a broad topic. For example, let me show you how this works. If you are interested in mental health in general, you can read an overview of this topic by clicking on Read More to start to get some ideas on what specific aspects you would want to focus on within this broader topic. Then, if you go back one page, you can click on Viewpoints to see over 100 articles that have information on various controversial points of view as it relates to mental health. As you can see, this list of viewpoints can also help to narrow my focus. I would explore issues related to the care given to military veterans and how that helps with PTSD, or I could explore mental health issues or the use of animals in mental health therapy programs. If you see a viewpoint you like, click on the title to read the article associated with this topic in order to help you in this discovery process. If you find that the first topic you selected is not a controversial issue you would like to explore in this project, then you would return to the main page and select another potential topic. Let's review those steps. I am going to go back to the main page and show you one other broad topic and how to use the sources in it to narrow down your topic. Click on Browse Issues and look through the list of possibilities. Choose something else that interests you. I'm going to select Food and Security. Then click on Read More for the topic overview. This is going to give you the background information you need to post your brief reflection on what you have learned and explain why this topic matters to you. Through your review of this topic, you will be able to propose your working thesis statement. Take time now to review the wide range of topics available to you in this database in order to complete this step of your research project.